Hi guys, 18 Dapper here and welcome to today's match day vlog, League 2 fixture today. It's Doncaster Rovers versus Gillingham. Let's get the video started. So guys, welcome to this match day vlog, Doncaster Rovers versus Gillingham. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you for the support. Thank you for sticking around. It is greatly appreciated. If this video has brought you to the channel, please click subscribe so you don't miss any future content. This one, I'm looking forward to it. It's bit on the knife edge. Um, Gillingham not scored too many but defensively solid. Danny Schofield starting to get something um, in terms of a style of play showing with the Rovers so a little unknown. Um, it could be a 0-0, it could be a 4-4. Four -four. Um, me and Matt were talking about it, I will link his video in the top corner of the screen, the preview for this one. Fantastic content creator, head over to him and give him some support as well. Uh, but as usual we will get down to the ground, we'll do the confirmed team lineup. We'll try and get a Gillingham fan for fans' thoughts. Um, we've got plenty of family going to the game today, so we'll, we've got a lot of predictions to uh, to give as well. My prediction is in my preview that'll be linked in the top corner of the screen as well. So without further ado, let's get down to the ground. Down in the ground, we've got a lot of family to get through, so it's just a prediction today, mate. I've gone with a one-one. What are you going for? Two-one, Donny. Two-one, Donny. We've got Grace here. Get you sent in. What are you going with? Same as Max, 2-1 to Donny. 2-1 Donny, right, we will find the rest of the family because we've spread out and we'll be back in a sec. So kids have given their prediction, we're with the ladies of the family now, we'll start with your mum. Score prediction? 2-1 uh, Doncaster. 2-1 Donny, and then we've got Elizabeth on the end, score prediction. I think it will be 2-0. 2-0 to Donny? Yeah. Oh, positivity. A rose between two forks. Let's start here, score prediction. 1-3. So it started so well. Vicky's gone with a 3 1 defeat. These have only scored six all season. Would you like to refrain from going with a 3 1 defeat? No, okay. It's got me. I will go down the line. This is Keith. You'll know him from the boxes that have been coming over full of memorabilia and some little bits of uh, bits of treats. Um, the box man. Yeah, yeah. Score prediction for today. I'm going to go with 2-1. 2-1. Scott stopped people scoring. I hope we're going to be playing so much better now that we go to the end of the night. On the Osanian bank. 2-1. Good days. That's all of the family's predictions. Let's uh, check out the confirmed team lineup and fan sports before the first half. Confirm team lineup for today's game, completely unchanged from Tuesday night. Danny Schofield's gone with the same starting at 11, so it's Jonathan Mitchell in goal, the back five of Noyle on the right, Maxwell on the left, and the centre backs of Tom Anderson, Roshan Williams, and Adam Long. Midfield it consists of Harrison Biggins and Ben Close with um, Kyle Hurst and Luke Molyneux a little bit further forward with George Miller up top on his own. Uh, the bench, there's a, a couple of changes, I think. Uh, Bottomley, Taylor, Barlow, Waltman, Seaman, Agard and Faulkner. Hopefully that's the starting 11 and bench that can get us three points today. Let's go and hear what the fans thought before we uh, get into the game. So guys, welcome to Fans Force. I'm joined with, by J Dylan, Chris and Jimmy's behind the camera who's going to drop in for a score prediction. Thank you for taking a bit of time to, to talk to the channel. Um, first, first question, expectations for the season. Um, obviously not doing as well as probably what you'd, you'd hoped. Um, what's, what's going wrong or is, is, were you expecting it? Can't score. Yeah. yeah, can't score at all. I mean, we haven't had enough investment in the squad. Realistically, we don't have the squad to get promotion. Okay. Um, in hopes of it, but... Realistically, that wouldn't happen. Is it looking like there's going to be recruitment in January? Is is, is that be, there or is it? It could be because we're having a new owner room. So I think maybe that might be the reason we didn't get investment. Right, OK. So potentially a, a better second half to the season Hopefully. from first. You mentioned struggling to score. Um, I thought Mika would have probably hit the ground running. What's what's happened with, with Mika? Is it, is, it, is it just not working at League Two level? or? It's not. No, it's no. not good enough. It's not. Is it, is it that... 
you expecting him to be? I mean, I, I spoke to Matt from Jills in the Blood. Um, I don't know if you, you guys yeah. follow him, great content creator. Um, he said that there's kind of that expectation that he was going to be as good as the Dane Oliver, and it's just not quite happened. Was that the expectation that you were going to get somebody of that similar, similar yeah, level? Yeah, he's supposed to be similar yeah. as the Dane Oliver, but he ain't done nothing for yeah. us. Yeah, the Dane was a different level, though, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Lovely stuff. Um, I went with Will Wright as the one to watch, I believe, is he's contributed to the majority of goals for Gillingham this season. Yeah. And that, that kind of says it right back. I've, I've singled him out as the one to watch. Am I about right with that or is there somebody yeah, else that I'm we should about, be watching? Yeah, you're about right. Huh? Lovely stuff, we'll take that. And for the score prediction, I've gone with a 1-1. Um, do you think I'm about right or, or what are you going to go right. with? I'd go 1-0 to us or 1-1. 1-0 or 1-1. 1-0 Jills. 1-0 Jills and we'll scooch around to Jimmy. 0-0. Nil, nil. Nil, nil. There we go. Cheers, lads. Cheers. Thank you very much. Have a, uh, have a good day at the Eco Power. A safe journey off. So that was the thoughts of Dylan, Chris and Jimmy. Thanks once again for taking some time out to, to talk to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. So now, let's go and watch the first half. see that improve into chances and hopefully a goal for the Rovers. 17 gone still, nil, nil. Come on boys. Get up! Shoot! Shoot! Oh. Ah. See. Half time Rovers nil, Gillingham nil and not many talking points in that one. Feeling each other out a little bit, feeling the game out. Um, and it is a nil, nil. The applause that you can hear is for Tommy Spur and his kid. He's looking very, very touched on this. Uh, it's beautiful. I will link his uh, details down in the description below. Um, fundraising for him. Looks very, very touched. There's tears in his eyes. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, sad. Very sad. Link in the description down below for, for all of that. Um, but going back to the game, very little talking point, very few chances for both of us, and it is nil-nil, hopefully an improvement in the second half. Let's go and watch it. Good. Second half. Oh! Right. Best chance of the game so far. Harrison Biggins from a free kick from about 25 30 yards out. He's very unlucky again for the second game running. Hits the top of the bar. Still 0 no, 0. No. 50 gone. Well in. That's a good ball. I think it took a deflection of a Gillingham defender to divert past the keeper. But 
what did you say, Vicky? Hopefully not. 1 0 to the Rovers. He's been coming. Mitchell, fantastic save a little earlier uh, to, to prevent it from going to 1 0 to Gillingham. Uh, and maybe that save has turned the tide of this game. Um, but no, I think we've, we've started the second half much better. Deservingly go ahead 1 0. Uh, 60 gone. Come on. Added on, still Rovers one, Gillingham nil. A couple of minutes into that, but since we've gone one up, Gillingham have grown into this game and put us under considerable pressure, but not really created anything too clear cut. We've dealt with the majority of stuff brought into our box. Um, hopefully, we can hold on to this one for the next three minutes or so and get a much needed win under Danny Schofield's reign. Still one nil, bat three to go. I mean, the situation there. Well, out. Rovers 1, Gillingham 0 that second half got a little bit sloppy towards the end played some good football at the beginning of it but when we went 1-0 up um, Gillingham came into the game and we were a little bit sloppy but we will take that win nonetheless uh, not as slick as what it was on Tuesday but a better performance uh, and a better result not, not a better performance that's what I wanted to say so we will take those three points and on to the next one. That's where I'm going to leave this one. If you've enjoyed it, big thumbs up for us, please. Comment in the section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to join us tomorrow night from half past six with Punisher 41 and Ian Bradley, where we're doing the 72 review. And all that's left for me to say is thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one.